quality of ingredients, I think, is probably the only important thing to me. It's pretty much everything. My name is Jackson Boxer, and I'm the chef patron of a new restaurant called Orise in Notting Hill. For me, um, good ingredients have an almost erratic quality. You can see whether they're beautiful or not. You can lift up something and feel in its density or weight or firmness. You can feel a beauty there. You can smell it. You can taste it. Working in a busy London restaurant is, is one of life's great joys. I think I feel so immensely privileged. You know, there's this wonderful, almost kind of kind of spiritual harmony. It's like being at a football match. It's like being at a rave. You know, we all feel it. We buzz, you know? It's, it's incredible, the energy in that kitchen. Just as the ingredients have an erratic quality where you look at them and you're like, this is a beautiful piece of produce. I can't wait to cook this. The plate, when it's finished, should resonate with an energy that, that people are attuned to when it hits the table. Even if it looks kind of messy, they can see the investment of love and time. Dressed by hand, made by hand, plated by hand means that there are inevitable differences. And I believe that that's the most life-affirming thing about what we do at Orisa. And I believe that's, you know, in its quiet way, in its quiet and unassuming way, it's why it's proved such a, you know, a, a resounding hit so far. And, and what makes it so exciting to come back and keep pushing. Very interesting the difference between what I cook at the restaurant and what I cook at home. Partly because everyone in the restaurant loves my food and everyone at home is very skeptical about it. But that said, I still take a huge amount of pleasure in cooking for them because it's a very humble activity. I have to really, really not think about myself when I'm doing it, not think about what I'd like, think about what in fact they'd like. I really believe that food stops being interesting when it becomes another commodity that can be mass produced. But as long as it betrays its handmade nature, it's always going to be beautiful, even if it's not technically perfect. And, and I think that's wonderful.